Welcome back, everybody, to the 36th episode of the Milan Career Mode. Usually 12 episodes and we'd be done a season, but we still have some ways to go in this third season. We made it to the Champions League semifinals. We're a couple of games away from securing the Scudetto for the second year straight. Could it be trouble this season? I absolutely have no idea. Just Champions League, man. It was tough to actually get through Atletico Madrid, but in that second leg, we really, really did well. And now we face... Borussia Dortmund in this episode I think we're going to be having both legs in this one I think we might because we have Lazio we have Udinese then we have Dortmund and then Parma and then we do have Borussia Dortmund once again on May 3rd and then maybe in the next episode we can have Juve the Coppa Italia final and then maybe in its own episode we can have the Champions League final and I actually want to ask you guys something when I do a fourth season, because I don't plan on stopping this, even if we do win the Champions League, do you guys want to see like a couple more months in each episode? Maybe I run through some games and I don't show you every single game because I want to see where this team can go and how many Champions Leagues we can win with Milan. Maybe try and pass Real Madrid's record. I think they're at 14 and in this career mode save, don't think they won any Champions Leagues. But enough about that. Lazio Milan, this one's away from home. And the only thing I really don't like about these sliders is that I have to play on 10 minute halves. So I'm gonna go back to seven. And like I said, these are the sliders. The OS sliders for ultimate difficulty is what I've been using. Let's take on Lazio at the Stadio Olimpico. It's too busy looking at some stuff on my other screen that I completely just ignored where Lazio was in the table. But Isak, 19 goals this season, and you saw last episode, he has 27 from 27. Second place in the Serie A for goals, and then there is Lovgren as well there. Let's see what Lazio can do. Already starting off a little bit more like attacking straight off the bat is what you love to see. Just slow this one down, guys. Switch the play, Tomias. So, okay, that was Forteo. But it found its way to Rafael Leao. He's going to give and run backwards for some reason. Great threaded through pass to Teo. Teo Hernandez. Kessi. Brahim. Just trying to work it around the box. Sandro Tonali was going to go for the shot. Finds Kessi just inside the box. And Kessi, what a strike to start off this match. The passing works so well. They seem to have just dropped back. A little bit more than usual, Lazio. But that is going to be a great finish. Everybody marking, I guess, who they're supposed to be marking. And Kessi with a fantastic shot. And I actually turned, well, this was last episode. I turned shooting to semi-assisted. So I actually have to aim towards the target. And he picked the spot perfectly. Oh, nice ball in Zaccagni. Gigio Donnarumma. Last time the Rosa man made like 70 billion saves. I think it was against Bologna in the last match of the episode. Donnarumma starting off big here. Lazio have had some chances. So, you know, a lot more chances than usual as Bailey crosses in. That's like the first cross I've seen in seven months. Hakan plays forward. Isak can't get through. Kessi, good block. Kessi now starting forward. Can he spot Brahim Diaz? What a ball right in behind. That's a fantastic save by the goalkeeper. First half done. We took the lead, but Lazio did have some opportunities. Kessi with the fantastic goal. They made such great saves. Donnarumma made a couple of good saves. We've got a game on our hands here, boys. Hakan is down injured. How long is that going to force him out for? Needs to get up, but he could carry on. Kessi, Hakan, can he get a good ball to Leal? He injured and everything. Yes, he can. Isak, you've got to get in there. Good ball by Leal, and he can't get his head to it we're gonna have to make a substitution next time there's a stoppage of play Bailey is in behind Tonali you gotta get him covered Sandro Tonali easily skips past the sliding challenge Leon Bailey making no mistake there and Lazio have drawn the game at 1-1 why did you get so close to the camera Tonali just just missing out on that one he was there slid in way too early all he had to do was just be patient Kessie Forward to Isak. Isak, can he find his strike partner? He might be able to. Yes, he does. Let's give it right back into Brian Diaz. Brian Diaz! Oh, that almost catching Lazio off guard there, Brian Diaz. 
And my god, Teo Hernandez is always the first guy in the box. Let's put Daniel Maldini on this. Let's whip it into the middle. There is Kessi. It's off the bar. He's going to get his rebound. How did we not win that one? It's a tough away match to play. Lazio got a goal through Bailey. We scored through Kessi with a great goal. But it just wasn't enough. Goalkeepers doing their jobs at both ends. And that's only the one point here. Only going to be out for about five days, Hakan. So he's probably going to be back for the first leg against Borussia Dortmund. Udinese down in 12th. Going to be simulating this one. And going to be resting a lot of players here. We can afford to play like almost a B-side here. Because Udinese, we're, we're up there with points. We're eight points ahead of Juve. But we need to win this one, guys. Come on. I just want everybody fit for that match. And on the bench, we have Kalulu, Gogoladze, Pobega, De Reuter, Lofgren, and Isaac, if ever we do need. But then you look at Udinese's lineup. Look at their defense. Absolutely drained. Borges and Benacer in the middle of the park. Colombo starting up top. Maldini on the left. We've got Salamakers on the right. We've got Fekir in the middle. Tomiyasu and Gabia, De Rosa in goal. I think we could do this at home in front of our own fans just get as much rotation as possible before the match against Borussia Dortmund uh, let's see if we can walk out of here with a convincing victory Salamakers nice ball that's Pedro Borges Borges I did Borges yes it's Borges going to be scoring in the 11th minute got forward great stuff by the Brazilian and somebody actually said maybe train him develop him as a center back I think I might be doing that train his defensive abilities maybe he can be an even better center back than a defensive midfielder but apparently he's doing so well going forward a couple of goals on the season let's continue this boys into the second half can we get something maybe the 60th minute I'm going to be making some substitutions we have the better the possession same amount of shots and chances but Milan have the lead Kalulu Borges, Pobega, Colombo, Gogoladze still didn't untuck his shirt. Nicely done by Gogoladze. There is Colombo going for a bicycle kick and gets injured. And why did it not show anything? It just showed the injury and then didn't do anything. Gabia. Oh my God, De Rosa, what a save. What a save by Stefano De Rosa. Colombo, who is apparently injured, going to try to take on defender one on one. Gogoladze. Why to Salamakers? Played in some good balls, Gogoladze, so far. Let's try to return the favor. There is Gogoladze. He's just getting in there. Good stuff by the Georgian, and that's going to be full time. Only thing that happened was a dumb Colombo injury when I jumped in. Hopefully, it's not going to be for too long, but he got back right away. No mention of it. That's going to be three points after that disappointing draw to Lazio in the last match. Look at that. Look how close he was. Did not catch it right in the slightest. The Udinese goalkeeper, I think Musso, just jumping. Trying to close down the angle, make himself big. Borges with the man of the match. France want me to be their manager. I clearly do not want to be your manager, France. Nothing against you guys. I don't want to be anybody's international manager. All I want to do is manage Milan to Champions League glory. And it all starts here in the semifinals against Dortmund. I wanted the two-striker formation for this one. But Hakan has been playing well. Coming back from his five-day injury, he's still there. He's dropped now back to an 86 from an 87. Lofgren is now at a 70. Good stuff for him. So we're going with this. If we need something in the second and half 10 minute halves then we're going to be bring on the man who's been everywhere Romagnoli up to a 91 Teo on the left Calabria Kabak Gijo in goal Tonali and Benacer in the midfield Dortmund they're going with a lineup that's everybody's at full fitness so fantastic they have Sancho they have Holland they have Chiesa De Vrij Ake and Ta and then gold they do have Sommer let's kick this one off at the San Siro see if we can start off with a big big victory that man right there is who we're gonna have to watch out for the negotiations fell through between the clubs last season and we settled for Alexander Isak. I actually have to look out for this. Kabak, Tonali, Calabria, Teo, and Fekir with, I think, uh, if they get a yellow card in this match, they miss the next match. So don't want them missing the second leg. And that is the lineup Milan has fielded. Gigio Donnarumma, I need the very best from you as you've been your entire career at Milan. 
Let's go, Milan Dortmund. Two legs, 10 minute halves, ultimate difficulty. What more do you want? Ball's gonna be played into Sancho. Just runs into Alessio Romagnoli. Gotta get there and make a challenge, Tonali. Or somebody. That's going to be a shot by Kies. Oh my god, why does it do that? All I want to do is clear the ball, but Calabria going flying in and taking himself out of the play. And we almost gifted a goal to Borussia Dortmund. Good save by Gigio Donnarumma on Torgan Hazard's shot. That's going to come to Sancho. Put some pressure, Hakan. He doesn't in time. That wasn't even Hakan. That's a save by Donnarumma. Wait, and then try to make a challenge. Somebody, Sancho, gets the shot. Kabak gets the block. Holland with the ball just on the edge. Holland takes the shot. Gigio Donnarumma, what a fantastic save by one of the world's best goalkeepers. Holland just snapping a shot from just outside and Donnarumma. Great reactionary save. Didn't look good on the replay because the ball just looked so weird. Gets in. Holland out jumping Alessio Romagnoli. This guy is dangerous. This guy is dangerous. Wants us to regret that we didn't try to get him once again. Tonali. Nicely done by Sandro Tonali. Getting away from danger. Now we've got a game on our hands. Teo finds Leao. Going to give to Tonali. Gives right back to Rafael Leao. It's been all Dortmund. And it just took one attack for Milan to just get absolutely right. And Rafael Leao. One touch passing between him and Sandro Tonali gives and goes. And what a ball. Could have just squared it to Akan, but decided the better option was to shoot Milan. Taking the lead here in the 20th minute. Rafael Leao scoring goal number two. Holland. Koke. Back into Holland. Donnarumma with like his 75th save of the match. Romagnoli is your man. He's your man. That's who they're looking for. It's going to be Gigio Donnarumma instead to punch. It's a ball forward to Thorgan Hazard. Nice Calabria. Just saw what was going to go down and read it well. Benacer Fabian. This guy, man, from Napoli is so annoying. So, so annoying. And I didn't release the ball soon enough. That one gets played in to Holland. Kabak. Kabak, Kabak. If that's a red, that's... That's... No. That's just going to be a yellow. And their goal is probably going to come from a penalty. That's going to be Holland just completely missing the penalty and we can breathe again Holland come on man you gotta do better for your side Sandro Tonali come on Adam don't go in for those challenges Calabria Hakan you gotta do some defending that's a good ball slipped through and it's Gigio Donnarumma always the final ball by Dortmund just doesn't lead to anything Isak keep going guys Isak you know what He's not like getting in those good positions, but he's in good position when well, we need to make him a pass. That's good dribbling by Teo Hernandez. And we almost lose out on that one as Teo gets forward. Teo, you know what? Let's just snap a shot from here. Teo Hernandez, yes! That's going to be two for Milan. Teo Hernandez scoring 45th minutes. And we're 2-0 up 45 minutes into this first leg of the semi-final. It's home goals, so they're not worth as much as the away ones. But still a good start here. Teo Hernandez scoring. Rafael Leao scoring. 45 minutes left. Missing in action, Jaden Sancho. The only thing that scares me is those 11 shots. 6 on target. 65% of the possession. If they would have converted any one of those goals, it could be a totally different game. But that's why we do have Gigio Donnarumma in goal, who I actually put his potential down to 94. I'm really thinking about letting him grow to like maybe 95, 96. Because as it stands, man, I haven't faced a goalkeeper like as good as teams have been facing him. Like it absolutely makes no sense. Sancho has come alive to start the second half. Chiesa. Hasn't really done much. Plays in a ball to Fabian. That's a good shot. And Chicho Donnarumma saving Holland once again. Not the very best of shots. But Donnarumma, all he has to do is make the save. And he does. That's whipped in. Sancho. Leao do some defending. Donnarumma makes the save. Dribbling. The pass is going to come anytime soon. Or the shot. He gives back. 
I had to try and read that one, but didn't read the right thing. Fabian snaps a shot that literally just doesn't even trouble Gijo. Kabak, man, really needs to be careful. Good ball in. That's Romagnoli. Get this ball away. Get this ball away. How many times do I have to click the circle button? Kabak and Romagnoli getting so confused there. And Dortmund with at least one away goal. It was coming, man. Donnarumma cannot save everything. Thorgan Hazard, ball gets played in. I swung my foot at it 15 billion times, hits off Holland. His big frame is just absolutely everywhere. And Thorgan Hazard to finally put one past Gijo Donnarumma. But let's go, guys. We still have the lead. 54 minutes in. We've got ourselves a game here. Sandro. Nice, Tonali. Benacer. Drive forward, Benacer. Nobody else is helping you out, so you're going to take it by yourself. Benacer now. Just inside, Hakan, can he lay it off to Rafael Leao? And now Romagnoli and Kabak need to get back. Romagnoli and Kabak need to get back. Stop the ball from coming in. Alessio Romagnoli just takes the ball and then almost the legs of Holland. But look how many the attack with Sancho, Teo, get there. That ball's crossed in. Donnarumma makes 9 million saves. And he lets that one in. Chiesa going to be scoring. Went from Fiorentina to PSG, to Borussia Dortmund. Yes, I know, Donnarumma, we let you down there. Teo going in, completely missing his man and just beaten at the near post, Donnarumma. Can't be letting those in. Every time somebody scores against me, it's like always their first goal in the Champions League. Isak making way for Olaf Lovgren. Chiesa now coming off. Isak just struggled to get into this match. I don't know why. I really, really don't know why, Isak. He's been so good all season. And apparently the last couple of games just, uh, like, are making me rethink his spot on the lineup. Lofgren and on. Let's see what this guy can do. Let's go, guys. Correa. Not the one that Atletico Madrid had. That gets around Kabak. Tonali. Correa. Good ball in, Sancho is through, Gicho Donnarumma making the save. Nice Fekir, beautifully done by Fekir and Leal, Nabil Fekir, can he drop that one in for Sandro Tonali? <laughs> Holland getting dispossessed way too many times today, Fekir, can he turn? Yes he can, he can find Rafael Leal, Rafael Leal! Holland getting dispossessed, Rafael Leal putting in the third, second goal for him. Today, 88th minute man, just Fekir comes on, makes the difference, gets an assist. Rafael Leal putting it past Jan Sommer once again. Look at that. Turns, no chance for the defender. Goalkeeper coming out and closing the angle, but just not enough for him. As Rafael Leal going to be scoring in the 89th minute. Third goal for him. Leal lets it go and Teo just doesn't understand what they were trying to do. If we could have gotten a fourth so, so late, it would have been great. But what do you guys want to do? It's a 3-2 victory. Isak, man, disappeared from this game. Lofgren didn't really get very many chances, but the substitution worked. Fekir on assisted the game-winning goal in the first leg. Leao with two. That is a great way to start in the semifinals. 3-2 victory. On to the second leg. Don't know if it's going to be in this episode. Oh my god, I almost clicked restart match. What the hell? That would have been incredibly scary. Imagine doing all that and accidentally clicking restart match. Why do they even have that there? Who restarts matches? Come on. Christ. All I was trying to do was just get a picture for the thumbnail. I almost restarted the match. 88 points. 10 in front of Juve. Think we can afford to simulate another match. Adam's crazy enough to do this. Kabak is going to be suspended for the next match. So he can get the start here. Just going ahead and quick simulating. I'm sorry, maybe Dalo doesn't play some bigger games. And again, this stupid legendary seven minutes. I need to go change it in the actual settings. Ten minutes, ultimate. Let's just go ahead and quick simulate this match. Ten points in front of Juve. And we have literally every single academy player on the bench. Let's simulate this one. If it's a a loss it's a loss if it's a win it's a win it's going to be a three two loss why does it say aggregate at the top what in the world is going on it's a Serie A match but Hakan missing a penalty Salamakar scoring a three two loss like whatever as long as everybody gets the game time semi-finals what is going on 
What is this game? What in the world just happened? Why is the screen darker than usual? What is happening? Everything's so dark. I'm scared. Ronaldo's blonde. Dybala's blonde. I... I'm not comprehending what's going on. I'm scared. Mom... Come pick me up, I'm scared. I'm just gonna go ahead and save the game. I'm going to quit. I'm gonna reload the game because what was that? Am I no longer playing dark mode FIFA? What in the world? Yeah, it's back to light mode. What was that? It's like when you select light mode and dark mode on like Discord. Okay, everything's back to light mode. After that loss to Parma, I thought we could have got it done, but apparently not. We have the second leg of Dortmund. Will Milan be heading into the finals with three home goals, two away goals for Dortmund? Attend the press conference, get everybody happy. Let's jump into this one. Ben Asser and Tonali had a fantastic game, so that's why I'm starting with them. Sorry, Kessie, man, nothing against you, but just Ben Asser and Tonali just work wonders together. This one is at the BVB Stadion Dortmund. The aggregate is 3-2. Pretty much going with the same lineup. And Brandt, I think they brought him on throughout the match or he started. I have absolutely no idea. But Adam's going with a 70 rated striker to start this match off. Because his 84 rated striker just hasn't been cutting it. Let's get into this one, boys. If you look up the definition of clutch player in the dictionary, all you'll find is a picture of Nabil Fekir. Came in clutch last season when we were fighting for Scudetto. And came in clutch in the last match. Can he do it as well here? Holland had like 50 million chances. Did not put one past Gijo Donnarumma last time. I need another big, big game from you, Gijo. Another big game from everybody. Tomiyasu, solid as ever. But Kabak, it sucks that we're going to miss him in this one. But let's do it for Ozan Kabak. Let's do it for Donnarumma who saved everything. Fabian and Holland starting off very well here. Very bright start by Dortmund. Asteo just... Didn't need to rush that one, but he did. Ben Nasser getting taken off. Julian Brandt chips it over to Holland. Donnarumma makes the save. Not a good shot by Holland. We need at least one, one away goal, guys. At least one. Romagnoli doing well. Usually I'd give that first time with Tonali, but decided to just chill for a bit. Tonali now. Tonali now. Can find Brahim. Can find Brahim Diaz. Let's give it all the way to the other side to Rafael Leal, who's got Lofgren in the box. Is going to maybe find all of Lofgren. It's punched away by the goalkeeper. Burki tries to chip the goalkeeper from the. Burki. Why are they going with Burki? Punched. Calabria saw the open goal and just tried to pop it in. That would have been a stunning goal by Davide Calabria, but it leads to a Milan corner. I'm sorry, Teo, man. Just take this because you shouldn't be in there. I don't know where, what I can do to change it. It's going to try to be headed by Romagnoli. Nice ball over the top. Holland. No, that's Fabian. Get there. Alessio. Yes. Yes. Yes, Alessio Romagnoli. Teo Hernandez. Get this clear. Holland cannot catch a break, man. He's... Oh, my God. How in the world have they not made it? One nil, they score. No, that's a good pass. That's a good pass. Chips, chips, chips. Donnarumma, Julian Brandt. Chips, Gigi Donnarumma. <sighs> Dortmund back in this one as it sits. Milan need at least one to go through. Good passing. Very good passing. Can't even be mad about that goal. Just one, two. Julian Brandt finishing. And it's 1-0, 3-3 on aggregate. We need an away a goal, boys. We need it now. 1-0 down, 3-3 on aggregate. It's been a battle in the middle of the park. They had the more opportunities. 45 minutes left to get something in this one. As it stands, Dortmund's going through. Calabria needed to get there. Tomiyasu. Nice Tomiyasu. Okay, not nice Tomiyasu. As Haaland just gets back the ball. Tonali gets it. Doesn't get the ball on, off of him. Tomiyasu, great sliding challenge by Takehiro Tomiyasu. And it goes right back to them. And it goes right back to them. And it goes right back to them. Defensively, we look lost. Sancho. Romagnoli goes back to his goalkeeper. Can we send? That was okay. That's going to find Lofgren. Nice by Donnarumma. But we cannot take advantage of this because nobody's there. Nobody's there. Lofgren. Benacer. Okay. Or you can find Fekir instead, even though I clearly said Benacer. Leal, great strength. Go, Teo. Go, Teo. He's in the box. Can he just 
Either send it in or go down for a penalty or go down for a penalty or go down for a penalty. Ta taking down Teo Hernandez. Oh man, we gave away two penalties. They uh, Okay, VAR needs to have a look at that. Because that is not a good sliding challenge. Leao going for Lofgren, right? He has not missed a single penalty. Not missed a single penalty. And he keeps his conversion rate. Not really doing much. Like, my strikers haven't been really doing much. But Lofgren gets the penalty. Keeps it as calm as ever. He had better penalty takers than him, but he has not missed a single one since that first one against Juve. And we're continuing to give him the penalties. And he's continuing to get the goals. Sixth goal in the Champions League. Hopefully, another big goal to come from somebody. Maybe Isak could come on soon. But I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Like to make my substitutions around the 65th. The stadium is silent. Find Leao. Yes, he does. Olaf, can he play in Isak? Good strength shown by Isak there. He's got Ake on him. Calabria into the middle to Tonali. Fekir. Keep going, Isak. Keep going, Isak. Alexander Isak. Alexander Isak. Let's give it. Okay. 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 Got another corner here. I guess I have to put Teo on it. Don't really want to. That is the header by Alexander Isak. Teo Hernandez. What a ball in. What a ball in. And Dortmund Stadium is completely silent. Yes, boys. Alexander Isak celebrates against his former club. I guess too excited to care. What a delivery by Teo Hernandez. Should he be our main corner taker? Out jumps two people. The goalkeeper. And finally gets back on the score sheet. 77th minute. Seventh goal for him in the UEFA Champions League. Alexander Isak. What a header. Lofgren with the penalty. And as it stands, we go through. If they score, it's extra time. Let's go, guys. Can't be giving away the ball in those positions. Ball over the top to Ndombele. Sandro Tonali. Tomiyasu. Donnarumma. Get there. Takehiro Tomiyasu. Donnarumma. Keep going. What are you stopping for? Donnarumma, please. Why? Who programmed, who programmed the goalkeepers in this game? Tonali. Just stop. Oh man, Donnarumma almost gifting them a goal there. Okay, into Holland and Dombele. Tomiyasu, that's played into. Erling Holland. Erling Holland. 5 5. Two away goals each. This one's going into extra time. Let's go, guys. They're absolutely drained. They're absolutely drained. Referee, that's definitely a foul. Kessi, go. Keep going, guys. Keep going, guys. Keep going, Kessi. Finds Alexander Isak. Brian Diaz from Lofgren. He can't even get a good touch to the ball, guys. Holland, Kessi. Don't. Do not do this to me. Do not do this to me. Hazard is ruined right now. Calabria, keep him there. Nicely done by Davide Calabria. And going to give back to Donnarumma and send this one down the field. Oh, my God. Oh, the referee didn't blow the whistle. Now he does. Half an hour left, and if anything, there's penalties. This episode is going to be like seven hours long, but I don't care. Gijo, come on, man. Extra time on the way. Guys, we got dominated, man. 13 shots, 9 on target. 7 shots, 3 on target for us. Gonna keep it this way right now, or maybe... I don't know, Fekir over there doesn't... Ah, Borges, maybe Borges. He can fit there. We already made how many substitutions? Two? Three? This is going to be our third. We have, we have, we have four to make. Let's go with Borges, man. Fresh legs is always a good thing. Fekir, I'm sorry. Or you know what? Brahim didn't do that well. I'm sorry. You're st still a fantastic player, but just an off game for him. Let's advance into the first half of the extra time. 15 minutes. Ball played in. And Dombele. Tomiyasu with the block. To Roma, Gnoli, nicely done, Alessio. Brandt, come on, Kessie. Watch the pass. Hazard, nice Calabria, nicely done by Davide Calabria. Borges, send it forward. Just try to get this ball as far up as possible. And Dombele, guys, don't, don't do this to me. Tomiyasu, 
Nicely done by Takeiro. One minute added on. And it just started. Lofgren. Isak. Go Isak. Lofgren. Can he take it around? Okay, man. This guy is everywhere. Referee, blow the freaking whistle. Blow the whistle. Thank you. What a stupid half. 15 minutes left. Diogo Dalo. He's coming on for Davide Calabria. Needs some speed on that right-hand side because Thorgan Hazard is there. And that guy is tricky. Dalo. Sancho. He's got more... You have got to be kidding me. Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing in the... Pa ah, four minutes left. I'm heartbroken. Guys, come on. What are you doing? We wasted so many opportunities. Isak, you're going to have to start making a run. I'm getting so frustrated. Diogo Dalot. He's got options here. Finds Lofgren. Dalot. Lofgren. Now, now they press. Now they press with so many players. Borges. Get, give me give me, give me, me something. Give me something, Borges. Finds Isak. Good ball by Pedro. Borges. Why? Why, Isak? Why? And now they're just holding it in the corner. What? I can't believe that. We fought so hard to get back in this game. Just a roller coaster of emotions. And then one ball gets played in. One single ball gets played in. Apparently, the referee is going to make us play on for just a little bit more. Lofgren, God forbid Isak would be there. We, what, what is he doing down there? Bow out of the Champions League. 6-5 on aggregate. No treble for us this season. What do you want to do, guys? What do you actually want to do about that? When a ball just gets played in, Isak did his part. Lofgren did his part. Donnarumma can't save them all. Dortmund, a worthy opponent. Milan out of the Champions League in the semifinals after extra time. Holland in the 90th. Lofgren the penalty. Isak 77th. And all that just to get knocked out by a ball that just gets played over the top. Correa in the right place, swings his foot at it. And we're out of the Champions League, boys. You guys had such unrealistic expectations, reached the final. But what do you want to do? High priority, semifinals, is that not enough? They want us to win the Serie A, win the Coppa Italia. All that's going to be left to be is next season. Champions League is going to be ours. We're far from done this series. And I know a lot of you want to continue watching this. But maybe in the fourth season, I'm going to start something alongside this one. This is just so disappointing after two hours of recording. But what do you guys want to do? Dortmund advancing to the final. They're going to be playing Barcelona. Fabian is missing seven months after that injury. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, you can leave me a like down below. Did you think it was going to happen in the third season? I absolutely did not. We're still growing as a side. We still have some signings to make for next season. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next time.